I thought he was going to kill me. I literally thought I was going to die for many years. I had to sleep with his friends. I had to be ready whenever he wanted to. He would sell me to paedophiles. There would either be physical violence, there would be threats of things, so threatening to burn down my house. Their stories are difficult to listen to. But for decades in Telford, they and the abuse that hundreds of children suffered was ignored by police officers and social workers. Nobody even told me that he'd committed a crime. They just told me it was domestic violence and um, nothing that they could do about it. Scarlett and Holly were both groomed, raped and trafficked from the age of 14. The police would drive past me. They would see me walking around. They, I've been in cars that had been stopped and searched. They never even took my name. They never took any of my details. They weren't interested. They just told me to get out and walk home. The inquiry concluded that more than a 1,000 children were exploited in Telford going back to the 1970s. Obvious exploitation was ignored by the council and police despite teachers and youth workers reporting it. Children were blamed for their own abuse and there was a nervousness about investigating Asian perpetrators for fear of inflaming racial tension. It meant that the degradation and violence here was passed down through generations. Abusers considered it normal, teenage victims thought it was inevitable. In recent years, ten men were jailed, but the council and the police all but scrapped their specialist teams to save money. How can you possibly rebuild public trust now? Firstly, by apologising. I want to say very clearly that we are sorry. We're sorry for failing to adequately protect. Has anything really changed? I mean, as recently as 2018, one of your superintendents was saying there's no discernible problem in Telford. Things have changed. So we fail to appreciate the scale of the problem uh, and much of the report touches on that and fail to put in place a quick enough response in terms of investigation. Three abuse victims are known to have died. Lucy Lowe's abuser burned her house down. She was 16. Becky Watson was hit by a car after being groomed from the age of 11. And Vicky Round died in a drugs incident after the same gang got her addicted to cocaine at 12. Tonight, survivors like Joanne, who was criminalised for being a child prostitute, welcomed the report. Nationwide, it highlights the struggles that girls and young women have in terms of victim blaming and being labelled prostitutes and the misogyny that's embedded in with that. The report makes clear that child sexual exploitation is still happening in Telford, but says the authorities tackling it are, at last, well equipped. But it questions why they took so long to react when so many children's lives were being blighted.